Hi everybody, this is Will McAdam over at privacyduck.com on our continuing series on how to opt out your personally identifiable information from the internet. All these little fun websites that post your details around. Um, right now, today, uh, thank you for joining me on the video about axiom.com. Axiom.com, spelled A X, sorry, A C X I O M.com. It's not a big uh, front-facing company. You won't find it ranking very high, but they are one of the intermediary big data brokers that do sell your information to sites like White Pages and Intellius. And so it's very important to clean um, up your records from Axiom's uh, database site. And that's not too hard to do. It does take about 30 days for it to take effect fully. But um, we'll go over that right now for you step by step. The first thing you'll want to do, as we discuss in many of our videos, is to create a free uh, disposable email account that you can use and reference back at a later time. Uh, for some of these, we recommend AOL.com or ProtonMail. Uh, for this little uh, tutorial right here, we're going to do AOL um, Mail, which you can sign up for mail.aol.com. So the first step after doing your email address you'll want to do is go to axiom.com's opt-out page. And that's a little hard to find from their main site. There's um, a lot of <laughs> information they don't want you necessarily go into that. Um, I do have the link directly for you in our video and also on our uh, free resources page on Privacy Duck, where we have uh, this video and other tutorials as well for other sites. But that link, uh, which will be in your description field on YouTube, is going to be https colon backslash backslash isapps.axiom.com backslash opout backslash opout dot aspx. Very simple to remember, right? Yeah. So, um, so you can do this one of two ways. You can send in a letter to the Axiom Corporation in Arkansas at this address right here. Or the faster way to go about it is to fill out this online opt-out form that they have uh, just below that on that isapps.axiom.com page. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to pretty much assume because Axiom is one of the big data collectors, you'll want to assume they have your mailing address, your phone numbers, and your email addresses, at least the current active ones. So you'll want to hit um, all three of those check marks there, so that all applies. Down here, you can choose that it is for yourself or for somebody else in your family. That's already going to be chosen for myself automatically. And down here, you'll have three, I'm sorry, four different information boxes, all of which have a little plus sign right here. When you click on that plus sign, that green little plus sign, that will actually expand the box. And so you can enter your personal information into there. So for this tutorial, we're just going to do a made up person, let's do the name of Ann Smith. Oops, I reload that page by accident. There you go. Instead of hitting that, so I'll go back here and do Mrs. Ann Smith. I don't know why it's going to, there we go. I'll click on Add. And once you click on Add, you can then see this name right there. There's a little X next to it. If you got a Ron, check the X. That will take it off. If you have more variations, say a maiden name, then go ahead and enter that as well. And for this, we'll do Ann Roberts. So you can do as many variations of the same name that you want to do for this individual. Same thing for phone numbers. Go ahead and open that. And I would say if you do have a landline, go ahead and enter this. If you have a cell phone from AT&T or T-Mobile, I would say enter this. Um, if you get a lot of spam calls, I would say go about this. If you don't, I would say don't worry about that part. But if you want to do that, go ahead and click Add. And I will add a number at some point. There we go. And email address. So go ahead and put any active email address you use right now. This does not have to be and does not need to be the same email address that you will be using to uh, receive your confirmation email to. The last part here and the biggest, because Axiom is involved in a lot of direct mail campaigns and junk mail, um, unsolicited mail that you might be getting at home, 
um, or at work is to then enter the mailing address. And go ahead and click on add at that point there. Um, basically, they're not able to find the match. They want to go by exact matches. Go ahead and select that so that works. So go ahead and do that for all of your information that applies to you that you don't want to receive this kind of spam on um, or you know unsolicited phone calls or junk mail from Axiom and their big data marketing companies. And this will also help to greatly reduce the amount of information that eventually gets repopulated on white pages and Spokio and Intellius if this work here is not done. Um, so once that all looks correct for you, go ahead and click on Submit. And here is where you'll put your confirmation email address. A few minutes ago, I mentioned the AOL email address that we created, and I just had that like in a little sticky note right here. And it's going to be ninoventions at AOL.com. I'll go ahead and paste that there. And there's this little captcha pictures of street signs or cars. This is a fun one where they take the pictures away and then uh, slowly <laughs> reload them. So you got to keep on clicking the new ones. And this can take a few minutes or a few tries sometimes. So there we go. That one didn't work. So we're going to try that one. They like to put you through a few of these usually on Axiom. Time number four, time number five. There we go. Time number six worked. <laughs> And hopefully it won't be that many times for you. But once that is a green box, go ahead and click on Submit. And that will take you to a page that says, Thank you for submitting your opt-out request to Axiom Corporation. It will tell you that you're going to receive an email. So go back to your AOLemail.com right there, whatever email you used. It might take a couple minutes, but this one came fairly fast. Um, it will say no reply hyphen opt-out, consumer opt-out verification. Go ahead and click and open on that. And then you'll find a link right here. There'll be a verification link to click on. Once that is clicked on, you then have to do another I'm not a real bot CAPTCHA in case you're not already proved that you were indeed a real person. So, <clears throat> you know, go ahead and pour yourself some wine or, you know, put your favorite movie on Netflix and uh, <laughs> load these up here. So time number two and three. And this is exactly what we do in our office, folks. It's really fun. So we sympathize with all of you playing along at home and doing this for yourself. We understand the frustration that comes. I think this might be time number five. Oh, time number six worked last time. Let's see. Nope. Maybe this Chinese food signs a street sign. That might work. There we go, time number seven or eight. So anyway, um, you know, now we have the green check mark. Go ahead and click on submit. And I must pass the robot test again, apparently. There we go. Only took two times, and there we go. So that second time, or time number 10, with that particular CAPTCHA was a charm. And you can see, thank you for submitting your opt-out request to Axiom. That is now completed. It will take about 30 days for that to filter all throughout the systems. If you do move to a new address at a new location and you begin receiving junk mail there, you will have to repeat this process with your new address. Otherwise, these should be uh, very fairly uh, permanent opt-outs as it relates to your name and your address at these locations. So. If you have any questions about anything that we covered in this video, please do contact us, privacyduck at 415-320-1845. And also note that Axiom, not only um, in this free resources for all these instructions here, but we also do take care of Axiom for you with all of our paid opt-out services, beginning to start a privacy at $99, clear to the VIP privacy, which gets absolutely everything possible out there. So please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, please do uh, play some more videos and learn how to delete your information from other sites. We look forward to working with you more and helping you out more. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. This has been Will McAdam for Privacy Duck. Hope you have a great day.